going on guys Donovan here now as you can see I have the RT behind me now in today's video that the RT isn't necessarily gonna be the, uh, the the topic of the video but I'm gonna go ahead and sit down and uh, that way we can have a little more serious talk so yesterday I went ahead and made a really bad decision and I test drove a scat pack now you guys probably already know where this is going you're thinking oh I'm gonna immediately trade the RT in and that's the end of this and uh, yeah, that is not really the case. So if you guys have been following the channel for the last couple of months, you know that I have a ton of plans for this car. Uh, I did want to end up switching out the rear diff uh, to a limited slip. I, I actually did plan on camming the thing. And I have long tubes that are waiting for me at my dorm that I still haven't brought here. Now, of course, with those mods, I'm probably gonna see about a 55 rear wheel horsepower increase. And of course, that's gonna totally change the characteristics of how this thing drives. Now, I am really excited for that, but at the same time, I do get a little impatient. Now, my first impressions of that 6.4, uh, that thing, it feels really fast. Now, of course, it was a test drive, so I didn't really get to push the car. It was still in its break-in period. I only really got to do like one good launch on it that wasn't really a good launch so i really haven't gotten to experience a scat pack in its entirety and i do want to do that but i actually don't know anybody with a 6.4 now as i've been talking to the people around me like my mom and my friends and stuff I, I i basically brought up this point i don't know exactly what i'm trying to accomplish with these cars when i'm modding this rt i really don't know why i'm camming it i don't know why I put headers on it and stuff. I really don't have any end goal with these cars. Because if I'm being completely honest, I'm an 18 year old. This RT, as it was stock, is already more than enough. But of course, I started getting that itch and I started bolting stuff onto it and you know, we're here. But at the same time, as I want to do more with these cars, I, I'm going to end up reaching the limitations for what I can do with this RT. In the long run, if you look at it, it's gonna cost me close to $5,000 to put the limited slip on this car, do headers, and do a cam. And that is a lot of money that can go to a scat pack. And also, I've looked at the brakes before, because the brakes that come on these, I'm pretty sure are the same ones that come on the six cylinders. And those things are not very good at stopping a 4,200 pound car, especially when you're moving quickly. So of course there are many benefits to getting a scat pack. I mean, I personally think that's one of the best value cars you can buy for getting a engine as big as a 6.4, getting full brakes, better suspension, track mode. And I'm pretty sure the one I saw actually had line lock and launch control, which are really cool things that of course didn't come on my RT. I don't even have performance pages on this thing, so it's pretty, it's pretty much the base RT with mods done to it. Now here's where I'm kind of stuck. I don't really want to restart with a car. I've put a good amount of money into this, not too much, but a good amount. I've put tints, everything like that, and I really like how this car is coming out. Luckily, I did keep the stock parts too, so that if I did want to return it to stock and sell the thing, that wouldn't be a problem. But at the end of the day, it's really coming down to what I plan to do with these cars. Because I could save for another year and cam the 6.4, and but then again, I kind of want to be a little different and have an RT that's super fast. Over the next few weeks, I think I'm going to be doing some number crunching and just seeing what happens. Now the good news is if I did get a scat pack, which isn't confirmed, so don't don't think it's confirmed yet, I wouldn't have to change the name of the channel because it still kind of is an RT, so we'd be Donnie RT still, which is, that's the important part, right? So yeah, I basically just need to look at the numbers, see what's going on. Of course insurance would go up, car payment would go up, don't know how much money this car is worth yet, but the miles are low. I've kept it in great condition, uh, oil changes, all that, um, maintenance stuff, and uh, yeah. So yeah guys, I kind of have 6.4 fever. It's not a confirmed thing and it's really just something I was looking at. I finally got to test drive a 6.4 because I've never even been in one. I've only been in a 6.1. So that was super fun. The future of this car and the future of the channel is really up in the air right now because I'm not sure what I want to do. but. We still have a ton of stuff I want to do with this car that I would do before I got the scat pack and a ton of stuff that I could do with a scat pack as well. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted to let you guys know the predicament that I'm in. Just let you guys know what's going on with me and my beautiful little RT down here. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed it, please click that like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and tell me what you think what I should do in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.
tire pressure goes down when it's this cold. Oh, yeah. I was like, that looks really... It goes down a lot when it's this cold. You're a dumb ass, dude. You forgot your keys. I did. Oh, my God. <laughs>